Hi, everyone. It's Monday, September 20th. Uh, it's great to be with you today. I hope you were able to join us yesterday, uh, hopefully in person, but if not in, uh, online as well, and hope you were blessed in worship. God's Spirit touches us through His Word. Um, we began the Red Letter Challenge yesterday, uh, and and the Red Letter Challenge is is, is really based on the idea that um, uh, that that we want to be more than we are, huh? You know, in the Old Testament, uh, it, it, uh, God said to Moses that uh, all, that uh, from your uh, generation, from your people, from the people of God, all the nations of the earth are to be blessed. And certainly that pointed towards Jesus, but also to the people of that time and all of God's people were supposed to be a blessing to the world around us. In the New Testament, Jesus says, you're the light of the world, huh? Uh, and, and don't don't let you, don't, don't hide your light, but but let it let, let it shine so that they might know God, huh? Uh, we are the chosen people, First Peter says, we might declare the, the, the praises of him who called us out of darkness and who is marvelous light. Uh, so, so this is what we're about, huh? Uh, and yet, as we look around, uh, we see that um, that we don't attract people very well. Uh, we're uh, not not like Jesus did, huh? We we see that uh, even though Jesus always stood for the truth of God, uh, no matter what topic he spoke on, he stood for the truth of God. Uh, and yet, uh, the um, uh, those folks who were caught in great sins, uh, the down and outers. Uh, those who were even pushed away from society because of the way they lived, they were attracted to Jesus, not because uh, he um, he kind of watered down God's truth, but rather he he touched them with grace uh, and forgiveness and love, uh, he at the same time holding up this wonderful way of living with God, huh? And and so we have, we want to we look at ourselves and we say, hey, that's what we want to do. That's who we want to be. We want to grow ourselves, uh, and and we want to be the light of the world. Uh, and what's interesting is in that sermon that Jesus said, uh, you are the light of the world, uh, and, and so let, let your light shine. And, and he talked about a whole lot of things in that sermon. At the end of it, he says, uh, you take my words and you put them into practice. That's what this is all about. And how do we do that? Well, Jesus told us. He, he, uh, he demonstrated it to us. Uh, you do life together with a group as he did with the disciples. You talk about things. You be in the word of God, and then you live them out, <laughs> right? Jesus, his disciples, they imitated him. And, and so what we're going to do in this Red Letter Challenge, uh, we're going to look at the words of Jesus that he spoke. The, certainly the whole Bible is his truth, are his words as true God. And yet when he, when he walked this earth, he spoke these words, and he said, put these things into practice, huh? Uh, and and if, if you look at the words of Jesus, you, you can really see five principles there, uh, being, forgiving, serving, giving, and going. And we mentioned those yesterday, and that's what we're going to look at in this 40-day uh, life-changing event that, that we're a part of. Huh? Um, and, and so uh, um, as we're, we're beginning this event. We want you to be a part of it. Uh, if uh, Hopefully, uh, you, can, you can still get into a group. Uh, just call the office or email us. Or, or you can even do it at home. We got books. We, uh, if, if, hey, if you don't have one and you want to get started with us, to, it starts to, uh, on Tuesday, tomorrow. Uh, we, we can even email you the first hundred pages of it. Yeah. So, so uh, we really want everyone to be a part of this, uh, to have this opportunity to grow, uh, to, to grow not only in who we are, but as the light of the world, so we can make uh, more and more of a difference in our world, uh, and and. Um, uh, and so that that's what we're about here. And the, the rest of this week, we're going to look at those uh, at, at, at those five principles of being, forgiving, serving, giving, and going. All right. W would you pray with me? Uh, dearest Jesus, um, we praise your name. You not only uh, show us your truth, uh, but in your wonderful grace, the grace that drove you to the cross for the forgiveness of our sins and, so that we might be yours. In that wonderful truth, you also show us how, how to how to live in your words in such a way that we're changed so we can be a light in the world. Uh, and, and you say, don't just hear my words, but put them into practice. Uh, and then you show us how to do that, Lord, as, as you did life with a group of your disciples. As, um, as the first Christians uh, came together in small groups, the first 3,000 who came to faith on the day of Pentecost, and they, and, and they gathered around your word and they talked about how, how to, to live your word in, in the world around them. Lord, we pray that... Uh, that this, these 40 days, this Red Letter Challenge might, be, might indeed be life-changing uh, for me, uh, for each of us that can say me, huh? uh, and for us together as we go forward in your name and your mission um, to be a blessing to our world. Pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. May God be with you. Bye-bye.